Gospel of December the 28th, 2016, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I call my son. When Herod realized that he had been deceived by the Magi, he became furious. He ordered a massacre of all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity, two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had ascertained from the Magi. Then was fulfilled what had been said through Jeremiah the prophet. A voice was heard in Ramah, sobbing and loud lamentation, Raquel weeping for her children, and she would not be consoled, since they were no more. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us take a peek of the first reading from St. John. Beloved, the message from Jesus Christ is God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. If we continue to walk in darkness, we lie and do not act in truth. If we walk in light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his Son Jesus cleanses us from all sin. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves. The truth is not with us. If we acknowledge our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from every wrongdoing. I am writing you this so that, no, that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the Righteous One. All right. We see this terrible moment. Of course, we are celebrating the feast of the, of the innocent martyrs, of the saints innocent. All those little boys that were assassinated by Herod in a spot of darkness, in a spot of rage, he ordered them to be killed. And it is exactly what is happening according to the letter of Paul. God is light and there in him there is no darkness at all. Yet how many of us walk in the dark? And contrary to what John says, if we walk in the light we have fellowship with one another. Because the blood of the Son, Jesus Christ has cleansed us from our sins. We should love each other. How is it possible, especially for priests that have, that have hate or rancor with each other? Out of the smallest provocation, out of the smallest difference in opinion, we grieve against another and we would not pardon ourselves. Are we the models where the children of God will look at Jesus Christ himself? Of course not. If we act that way, then we are doomed. We remain in darkness and we remain in, in absolute sin. So let us cleanse our hearts. Let us ask God to cleanse our hearts from more rancor and hatred that we may love each other. Not only us consecrated, but also all consecrated by baptism, which we should act like this. It is very interesting how the faithful of God, the humble ones, hear the warning of the angel. It is at night and in a dream that the angel comes to Joseph, rise, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt. And what could ask reasonably, why in the night, why in the middle of the night? Why is that? Why couldn't he uh, advise uh, two weeks before, hey, plan for in two weeks, you will have to go away? No. It is almost like unreasonable to believe for faith is meta-rational is above reason and there that is there is exactly where a just and faithful man or woman will be seen he did not hesitate he immediately took the child and his mother and went away just as told 
with how many times you and I and many of us who are called Christians do not want to follow the orders and the warnings of God. Perhaps if we were more humble, we could hear Him telling us what is going to happen. God did not order, did not want death, especially no, no death of any man, and especially of those little children. It was provoked, it was it happened because the king, who was away from God, who felt that he was somewhat attacked, somewhat at risk, because the Magi had told him that a new king of Israel had been born, and he did not want any part with that. He wanted to kill that newborn child king. So once he realized that he had been fooled, he decided to kill all the children below two years old. It is terrible, but it did not come from God. It came from the back act of one. Why does he, God, allow that? Did he want the destruction of those ones? No, I believe that they were received first in the bosom of Abraham and then in heaven. For they were witnesses also, even unwilling for the Christ. They died for the cause of Christ. Let us humbly ask our God to be transformed, to be cleansed, that the light of His nativity might shine forth from within our hearts. Until we meet in heaven, God bless you all, brothers.